Welcome back to your final lesson of Dash School. I'm your teacher, Amanda B. Johnson, and let us embark upon our final coursework, which, as I alluded to in the last lesson, is about where Dash is going next, a software release called Evolution. Now that you understand how a blockchain works, yes, a blockchain is righteous, and it is an excellent way to keep records, and an excellent way to operate a value transfer system where no particular person is in charge. But, as mentioned in the last lesson, most people don't like the look of alphanumeric addresses and find them to be no good. Secondly, the management of one's wallet password and backups for a lot of people is easy to get wrong, is easy to forget, is easy to misplace. And with the current state of digital currency, that means a total loss of funds. And finally, making payments is still hard. It's hard to keep track of your friend's addresses or to know which address belongs to which friend or to even know, hey, buddy, are you still using that address you gave me six months ago or do I need to send to a different one now? Evolution, then, is Dash-specific software set for release in late 2017. And it has several primary functionalities that will make it what I have called a digital currency that even one's mother would like to use. First is the implementation of usernames. As in, why yes, friend, you can pay me some Dash to hit me back up for covering dinner. Just send to address x 4 y r 7 Just send to username Amanda B. Johnson, for example, and the payment you send me will land in an address. And if you want to send me another payment in the future, which I hope you do, it will then land in a different address. And the payment you send me after that will again land in its own and separate address. And for ease of my own personal accounting, what will my wallet show me once I've received your payment? It will show it as coming from your username. So I can check my wallet and be like, ah, oh, hey, good friend, I see your payment has just come in. Thanks for reimbursing me. Can't wait to go to dinner with you again. In the under the hood part of the wallet, yes, the network will still be running via cryptography. But Dash will be the first digital currency network in which the user doesn't have to look at that crap anymore. Check out this screenshot of the Evolution wallet here, where you see human-readable named accounts in place of alphanumeric addresses. The second improvement Dash Evolution has in store has to do with passwords and backups. Now, I know I haven't talked about these yet, so let me put these in the right place in your mind. Remember how we learned before that your public address is the one where you receive payments, also the one you send payments out from? Basically, it's the one you can share with anybody in order to have them send you money. And remember how the private key is the even longer alphanumeric address that your wallet keeps hidden away from you but uses to make little signatures to tell the network when you want to spend from your address? So this is where the passwords and the backups come to play. See, if just anyone could, say, pick up your mobile phone and open up your digital currency wallet, they could view your private key and, in so doing, could copy it themselves, put it into their own wallet, and take all your money. So most people with digital currency wallets password protect them to protect the private key. What's more, if you were to, say, lose that cell phone that has your wallet on it or accidentally flush it down the toilet or run over it with your car, you would lose that private key and hence the funds in the address connected with it if you hadn't also made a backup of that private key, meaning you literally copy and pasted it and saved it in a hard drive in a safe or even wrote it down on a piece of paper and stored it at your cousin's house in the basement. Only if you implicitly trust your cousin, of course. As you can see, passwords and backups are paramount in the use of digital currency. But how many people in this world do you think either forget passwords or forget to do things like backup data? 
a lot, a lot, a lot of them. So Dash Evolution will offer the option only for those customers who want it. The ability to reset forgotten passwords and the ability to automate the making of backups, for example, like by sending to an email address that you choose to provide. It's a truism that there's always a trade-off between security and convenience. The more of one you have, the less of the other you have, and vice versa. At Dash, we realize that the world has customers across this entire spectrum. Some people want maximum this, some people want maximum this, and everyone else falls somewhere in between. The release of Evolution means that Dash will have products to suit people regardless of where they fall on the spectrum. And that third problem I mentioned that Evolution aims to solve, digital currency payments are hard to make. Evolution aims to solve this by giving people what they're already used to. Firstly, account types. As you see here, we can have a spending account, a savings account, hell, even accounts with various permission types. Like only I can access my spendings, but both my spouse and I can access our savings. Oh, and how about recurring payments? You know, merchants and vendors who want you to pay them the same amount every month on the same day. Monthly billing is, I dare say, a foundation to the modern economy, and digital currency has to be able to do that. How about a social contact list? If, if I'm going to do business with you more than once, I am going to need a way to record which payment address I should send to. So when I put your username into my social list, that whole fancy ability for usernames to act as proxies for as many addresses as you ever want means that I never have to ask you for your new and current address again. And let's get crazy. How about some dispute resolution of payments? I'll be honest, I don't even know how that one's going to work, but here's a screenshot of it in action right here. And the resolution is here. Now here's a thought you may be having. Amanda, all of those things look an awful lot like what modern banks do. And you're right. These are what modern banks do. And that's because people want these services. Otherwise banks wouldn't exist. So the real problem then that evolution aims to solve is how can we have all or nearly all the services offered by a bank without letting any other humans hold our money for us. Because that's been working out so well. Now you may be thinking to yourself, gee golly Amanda, I kind of want to invest in Dash. The easiest way to do this is to simply buy some Dash. And the best way to buy is kind of always changing as markets change. So I'd recommend just heading on over to reddit.com slash r slash dash pay and asking, hey, what's the best place to buy Dash these days? The second best way to invest in Dash is to run a masternode. And if you click the link to the video you see on your screen now, you'll find a tutorial on how to do that. And for the truly ambitious, with specialized skills perhaps, you can also apply to work directly for the Dash network and be paid in Dash. Click the link to the video that you see on your screen now for more about how that works. And fourth, you could become a miner yourself, as in buy a mining machine and plug it in at home or at work or wherever you choose to do that. And more information about how to become a miner, again, can be found most easily by asking in the Dash subreddit. And my friend, that completes your coursework in the blockchain and how Dash uses one. If you still have more questions, and that would not be surprising, one can always visit the website dash.org for links to wiki documentation, code bases, that sort of thing. And, or for the more layperson friendly approach, I make a weekly show entitled Dash Detailed, which can be found at youtube.com slash dash org.
So flip your tassel, throw your cap in the air. You are now a graduate of Dash School, and you didn't even have to go into a bit of debt to do it. Feel free to share this series with your crypto-curious friends, and have a good day.